doing a short screen screenshot on how to deploy a new application, a new Grails application to AppFog. So this is the new interface of uh, AppFog and it's, it's quite an amazing tool where you can deploy your Grails application uh, to the cloud. Uh, I've been trying to play around with it and we had a few struggles. I uh, posted some stuff on um, on Google on the Google forum about App AppFog, then I finally discovered the solution on how to deploy your first Grails application on the cloud. So without further ado, let's just create a simple Grails application. I'll go to my I'll go to my workspace and uh, create a Grails application on using version 2.03 and uh, that's the version which AppFog is using. So I'll do Grails 2.03 create app create app let's call it AppFog uh, new app. Uh, don't worry about this if you're Grails 2.03 if you're already running Grails 2.03 just do Grails uh, create app, app for new app because at the moment I'm using another script where I can run multiple Grails uh, versions so before I create an application I need to make sure I'm calling the right version so we create a Grails application yeah we can see the stack trace logging in yeah, this will just be a few minutes then we move into into the app fog to the app fog folder and uh, so now I need to log into app fog so I use the command af login I enter my email and then I at hotmail.com and my password is <coughs> and now I'm successfully logged into app fog so to deploy your application, you first uh, do a Grails wall. You build the application. It's a create a Grails wall. <coughs> uh, it's it's going to take a while to build. Just a few, a few seconds left to complain the success. Yeah, now the wall file <laughs> has been built. The key thing to do now is, is to move into the target folder where your wall file is located. So that's it. You can see you got a fog new wall in the glasses. And then we do an AF push, uh, push up, push up fog, up fog, uh, new up. So we're pushing in the application. We we'll push it in. I uh, say yes. And it's a Grails application. Say so yes. Uh, you don't enter anything, just press the enter button. Uh, you don't enter anything. It's going to, the default is going to be 512 megabytes. You can change that later. How many instances? Just press enter one. Press press enter and you get one instance. Uh, I'll just say no for the moment, but if you've got any services which are like MySQL or MongoDB, you can press yes. And I don't want to create any services, so I'll put it now. And uh, probably I'll save this. So now it's going to create an application. You see it being everything being written on the terminal. So a lot of people have been having like problems uploading this application, but I think the main problem is that everyone was pushing the application in the current in the root folder of the Grails application rather than going into into the target folder. So I think that was the solution. So 
So just wait for it to be uploaded in AppFork in the cloud and then you'll be ready to go. It just takes a bit, a wee time to load, but uh, that is okay. That's okay. And uh, Upwork is quite an amazing tool at the moment, and the amount of memory they give uh, free customers is just amazing. Two gigabytes. Uh, most cloud services never do that, and even the database is one gigabyte. That, that, I'm sure you can survive with one gigabyte as long as you don't upload file as long as you don't save files like images and audio files to your database, you'll be fine with one gigabyte. So pretty amazing tool. Now stage in the application. And it's deploying and starting down the application. So we're ready to go in a few seconds now. So clone roll. Yeah, the application has been deployed. So <clears throat> we go back to our dashboard here. <coughs> yeah, at times it takes a while for the dashboard to load, but uh, something you have to live with. <coughs> so uh, here we go. It's still taking its time to load the dashboard. Uh, if you're a bit impatient like me, you can go to to the terminal and if you locate uh, the line that says application deployed URL you can actually copy this URL up for new app AWS AFCM you copy it you can go to a web browser and then you paste it and then press enter and voila here's your Grails application so <clears throat> This is fair and fine, we've got the Grails application running. So what do we do when we want to update the Grails application? That's even that's even easier. What we do is since we're in the we're in the target app, we're in the target folder, let's go back to, to the current folder. I'll just clear this. And this we want to change the view. So I'll I'll use Vim at the moment, but I know you can use it in IDE or, or something else. So we go to the Grails app folder, we go to the views, and we go to the index PSP, which is the main page which is displayed here. So let's change let's just change some a piece of code here. Yeah, welcome to congratulations. Congratulations. Uh, congratulations, Tandem and Feather. We have successfully created a Grails application. We save this. Then once we've done that, <coughs> we, we, we build the war file again. Grails war. <coughs> <coughs> yeah, sorry, I have a cough. And, uh, so we build the application again. <coughs> And once we've done that, we go back, we, we go into the target folder, and we do AF, <coughs> AF update, 
<coughs> yeah, that would update it. I forgot that. <coughs> yeah, it's going to take you a wee moment to load, so be patient with me. But once you once you you understand these two commands and the world is your oyster, you can do anything. You can create your Grails application, deploy them on AppFog and do amazing stuff. Yeah, it just takes a wee while to, to load. Yeah, let me change my screen and reload my dashboard and see <coughs> what has gone wrong. Sometimes you get a connection reset. <coughs> Stopping the application now and staging it and restarting it again. So in a wee while we'll be having our updated Quills application. <coughs> yeah, everything is now updated. You can go back to our welcome Quills application, refresh the page, and voila, we've updated our application. So this is the way we we create a Grails application and load it to and load it to AppFog and also update it. That's just about it all. So it's only using two commands AF upload and AF update. So please go to AppFog, create, create a Grails application, play around with this stuff and enjoy yourself. Can't wait to see all your amazing applications on. Enough folks. Sweet. Alright, bye.